light on the mountainside. Do you see that strange fire? A bush that burns? Oh, it is on fire, but the bush does not burn. Suffer it. Take him. Serve him food in our tent. I will turn aside and see this great sight. Here. Put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac. guys, it's Pastor Carrie. Just me today. Rita's um, not here yet, so I wanted to go ahead and get something to tell you so Misty could put it in our worship service. Today, we're still talking about Moses. Do you remember Moses from last week? He got put in a basket and put in the Nile River, and he floated down, and the princess took him, and she saved his life. And then... Moses grew up in the palace. And you think it'd be cool to live in a palace? I think it'd be pretty cool. You'd have all the food you wanted to eat. I bet chocolate every day. I bet you got cool clothes, got a big room, all sorts of things. And Moses got to grow up there as an Egyptian prince. But remember, he was a Hebrew or an Israelite. Hebrew and Israelite, they're probably, they're the same word. So he looked around and he saw all of his friends and family, the Hebrews, the Israelites, and they were being slaved. Now, in order to know what a slave does, what I want you to do is get up. Go on, get up. Are you up? Now, you start doing push-ups or sit-ups or run in place until I end the children's message. That would be hard, wouldn't it? Especially if I go on and talk for a long time, that would be really hard. But that's what the slaves had to do. They had to work all day long and they were so tired. And the Egyptians weren't nice to them. And Moses was walking around one day and he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew. And so he got mad and he actually killed the Egyptian and hid his body and went back to the palace. The next day, Moses comes out and he walks around and he sees two Hebrews fighting. And he says, you shouldn't fight. You guys are, you guys are family. And they say, oh, are you going to kill us like you did the Egyptian? So Moses knew that they knew his secret and he was scared. So he ran away. He went way far away, like way far away, way farther than that. Further than that, through the wilderness to a place called Midian. And in Midian, he met his wife and he started to be a shepherd and he lived there for 40 years and he was happy and everything was going just great. He wasn't worried about Egypt at all. But one day, when he was out with his sheep, he saw a weird sight. He saw a burning bush 
Hi, Monty. A burning bush that did not catch on fire. You want to say hi, Monty? And that cat, cat, the bush did not catch on fire, so he had, I got to go see this. So he went and he saw it, and he was curious. And God spoke to him in that bush. Now, it's hard to follow what God tells us to do, isn't it? It's hard sometimes to get along with our brother and sister and do what our parents tell us to do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's hard doing homework. Well, imagine that God told you to go back to Egypt and free all of the Israelites from slavery. I don't think I would want to do that. Neither did Moses. Moses goes, oh, no, 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 no. I can't speak in public. I'm not good at that. You can't send me to talk to Pharaoh. He's an important guy. I'm just me. He had lots of excuses. And then he said, God, I'm going to need a name. You're going to have to tell me your name so that I can tell him who sent me. And God says, I am that I am. Can you repeat that with me? I am that I am. It's kind of like a riddle. It doesn't make much sense, does it? I am that I am, which means that. God will be whoever God wants to be. God always was, always is, and always will be. Lots of people always ask me, well, when did God begin? Is that a question you've ever had? Or who were God's parents? Where did God come from? This is the answer. There was never, ever a time when God was not. There was always God. And so when we know that, we know that we always have God with us wherever we go, whatever God is asking us to do. And so Moses heard God. Now, do you think he followed? Do you think he did it? Do you think he left all that, that comfortable stuff behind and went back to Egypt where he could have gotten in big trouble because they knew him there. They knew what he had done. But God said, I'm going to go with you. You will never be alone. That's a pretty cool story because it tells us that no matter where we go or what we do or even what we've done in the past, that God loves us. Do you remember what God's name is? I am that I am, which means God was, is, and always will be. So one thing I want you to remember today is that God is always with us. There's never a time that God is not. And that's a blessing. And Moses had to hear that and remember it. And so maybe we should too. Let's say a prayer. God, thank you for being with us always. Thank you for loving us, for forgiving us. And I ask you, Lord, to be with each one of our kids and our church members and our community so that we might come together and glorify your name. Amen. I will see you next week because we're going to have a parking lot service at 10 o'clock to come on down and bring your communion. We're going to have communion. So I hope to see you on Sunday, next Sunday. Bye guys. Love you.